What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have Team of the Season Arcadi and I tell you what, he's looking very, very decent. Expect a lot of videos to be released today, tomorrow and Sunday as well because I am not going to stop. I'm not going to sleep, it's simple as that. We have so many players to do a review of, it's dumb. But let's get straight into it. 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 92 shooting, 83 physical with 71 passing. The worst thing that I can see on that card is definitely that passing stat now that he is 5 foot 11 but that's not going to be a too big of an issue the medium low i prefer a high medium for a striker but the medium low just simply means he's not going to become he's not going to be coming short or making runs as often now he's got a three star skill moves which personally i don't really like because it makes the player a bit too readable but he has got a four star weak foot which means he's going to allow me to cut onto that left foot and obviously shoot with it now he is on an engine chem style he is on 10 chem 96 acceleration 95 sprint speed a really fast player that will be outpacing most center backs nowadays 99 attack and positioning 97 finishing with not with 92 shot power and the outside foot shot trait as well he hasn't got the finish shot trait or the chip shot trait but with those finishing stats i don't think it's gonna matter 76 long shots 93 volleys and 89 penalties as well he's got 79 vision 58 58 crossing, uh, 62 free kick accuracy, 89 short passing and 72 long passing with 67 curve. Now, I'll tell you what, the short passing is always going to be nice. A little one twos, the give and go should be perfect. But when it comes down to overtopping the ball, that's going to be an issue. 90 agility and 96 balance. And that for Arcadi is huge because he's never been the most agile of players. And to say that he's got 90 agility now, we might be in for a treat. 99 reactions with 96 ball control, 95 dribbling and 90 composure as well. I'm expecting this guy to be very calm and composed on the ball, taking touches and probably shielding players off at the same time. 99 jumping, 97 heading accuracy, 5 foot 11. I would say 6 foot 2 and below he will be out headering. He's got 80 stamina, which is the biggest killer of this card. And a team of the season to have 80 stamina, that is a bad, bad, bad thing. 87 strength though is going to be shielding players as I said fairly easily as well 67 aggression is just going to make him lose a lot of 50 50s now today I have linked him up with Neymar and Renato Sanchez I've also got like the same maximum and Suzoko in the team I will be using Akadi in a 4-4-2 playing him up front alongside with Neymar but I also want to try Akadi in that lone striker role so I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as well but let's get straight into these games. So the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile he is on the ball. And yeah, he seems very, very nice, but he doesn't seem to the level of like Neymar or Messi. But that is something I did obviously expect. Little ball roll towards Arcadi, little dummy, touch, fake shot, little inside pass. That is beautiful footwork. Can I get a finish as well? Super unfortunate not to actually get him an assist there, but it was really good footwork from him just to create the angle. Nice, that's actually a really, really good pass. Can I get the finish? Just like that, we actually have our first goal with Arcadi. And it was beautiful positioning from him. And he did really, really well. Just to, like to keep on side. And I was actually quite surprised he was on side. But look at this finish. He called out the keeper at the perfect time. And I knew if I power shotted this, it was not going to go in. So I had to go for that little cheeky near post finesse shot. And what a slot it was. And apparently he's going to rage quit just like that. Can you outpace him there? Use your pace. Come on. There you go. He actually used a bit of his strength there at the same time. Can I get in front of Modric? That is beautiful. Can we get a finesse? Just like that, we have our second goal. And I tell you what, beautiful dribbling. Beautiful fake shot around the corner using that acceleration to its full effect. And that ball roll around that other defender. That was insane. He kept it nice and close to his feet. But what a finesse shot. A hard angle. And he hit it right into the corner. Ronaldo Sanchez, little pass to Acardi, little dummy, bring it back into the inside and that's a beautiful finish with the right foot, straight into the far corner, but do you see his positioning once again, it's literally perfect, right in front of the centre back, so I can do my little twist and turns, and is the fan's leg over the bar there, over the little barrier there, I don't know what the hell that was, but it just caught my eye. Nice, great turn. The three star hill to hill, not the greatest though. Half drag back, gonna actually pass it. Pass it back to him. Why not take it first time? I should not have took that first time, let's just say that. It was a decent angle to take it first time. And I tell you what, if you hit that with like a person like team in a year, Ronaldo or the headliner Neymar, it's definitely going into the back of the net. But clearly with Acardi, it's not. Little step overs, shimmy to the left. There you go. 
to just bring it to the near post and it should be a finish i saw him move the keeper slightly to the right so that's when i decided let's do the ball roll to get the angle and it will obviously put the goalkeeper in a weird animation but what a goal it was saint max trying to create space towards Icardi. Half drag back, maybe just wait for the overlap. There was an overlap there. He actually still gets the pass off. It could be a scrappy goal. Oh my God. If that went in, I would have had no words. But it was great hold up play from Icardi. Just to shield off the player and actually get that ball still, uh, still off towards uh, St. Maxman. Pass Icardi. Drag back into the inside. Use the outside foot shot trait. And that's why I love it. Because it goes straight top bins every single time. And I'm not actually touching the controller right now. And it looks like Akadi's default run is when he holds it against it. He holds his hand against the ear. And I'll tell you what, that's actually pretty decent to be fair to you. But it could get annoying because that means you act, that means you get your opponent a bit a bit annoyed and then they start try harding a little bit. Akadi, little tw twist and turn. Can I get a fake shot around the corner? Oh, that was the like the terrible animation where he got there. When I tried to do a little fake shot around the corner, and it kind of made him go off balance a little bit, and I don't really understand why. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Get there, Akadi. There you go. Get in front of him. Use that strength. Shield him off, and that's exactly what I wanted from you. A player that is going to be so so strong. He did take a bad touch, but it was obviously my fault for clicking RT for so so long. But he did so well just to like hold the hold the player off and be very calm and composed on the ball. Little pass to Akadi. I see his ball out the keeper. Why not go for a finesse? Oh my god. If imagine that just rolled all the way to the bottom corner, that would have been actually quite surprising. And that would have been one of the like the weirdest finesse shots I've ever scored. Little pass to Saint Maximum. I do see Akadi's run. Touch finish. Can I get it? What a rocket it is. Right into the bottom corner. And Ariola has no chance of saving that one because the amount of power that was hit on that shot. It's literally impossible to save it. So it is time to review him and let me say this card is actually really, really nice. I like the little movement between him and I liked him on the ball. But the one thing I didn't enjoy as much was the attacker positioning, the medium low work rate. He does the same rotations that reminds me of like Griezmann. Sometimes he goes behind too many players and then he doesn't give me the passing option. But there is some occasions that when he does give me the passing option, aka standing in front of the centre back, it's an unbelievable position where I can just twist, turn, and just shoot. And it's just, it's going to be a goal, I would say, because looking at the shooting stats, he doesn't miss very often, I can tell you that. Now, the four-star weak foot was actually really, really nice. You can slot it right into the bottom corner. I do actually advise using the finesse shot with the weaker foot because the power shot on the weaker foot wasn't outstanding. It didn't hit, it didn't hit the ball with as much power as it did with the right foot. So I definitely suggest just doing a little cheeky finesse shot. Now, the three-star skill moves did actually make him a bit too readable. And that is something I'm always, always not going to like because... Nowadays, I use only players that are either four star or five star. I usually use five star up front because I can do the little running scoop turn around the corner, which creates an angle that I can just hit it straight off. And in most of the time, it does go into the back of the net. Now, the five for 11 wasn't an issue at all. Pace wise, he wasn't outstandingly fast. One thing I can say, he didn't feel like 96 acceleration. There was occasions where, yes, the fake shot around the corner was pretty quick. But when I told him to make a run with LB, he didn't look like he was running faster at all. Shooting-wise, I can really see it being improved because it's like a rocket into the back of the net. The amount of shot power, the accuracy, everything comes behind the ball. It's going to go into the back of the net, I would say, 9 times out of 10 if he's at the right angle. Passing-wise, I absolutely loved it. It was short pass, the little one-twos to give and goes. But I definitely suggest not doing the overtop three balls with him because he's not going to be able to do it dribbling he didn't feel like 90 agility that is something i can agree with he felt good on it a good on the ball but he didn't feel like 90 agility he really didn't and there was occasion where he actually fell over and that was 96 balance coming into play like how is your balance off put like how's your balance getting that bad but it's got 96 balance if you know what i mean it's like it makes no sense but for some reason he did fall over when shooting and that made me obviously miss now ball control wise he was very calm and composed on the ball i absolutely love this guy as a target man his shielding uh, center backs is ridiculous literally ridiculous because he uses that 87 strength to kind of back into the player waiting for that passing option and there was a there was an occasion i actually scored off it now the 99 jumping I didn't actually see coming to play. I did like uh, hit it off a goal kick towards him, and he actually did win the header. I but I can't remember who it was on though. But 
I didn't really try him in that near post header kind of thing off a corner. And for me to not try that, it's a bit of a killer, I must say. But at the end of the day, headers for me, near post, don't go in. So even if I did try it, I doubt he would have gone into the back of the net. 80 stamina, I definitely saw as a problem. He does die between, I think it's the 65th to 70th minute. So you are going to have to get a super sub for him. Daniel James, you've got Dharma Traore, you got Kent. It doesn't matter who you, in, you put in for him. It'll be an absolute beast anyway. As I said, strength, really nice. Aggression, he actually lost a lot of 50-50s. And that is because of the aggression. Now, I have to give him a rating out of 10. And I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 because I don't deserve I don't think he deserves, sorry, a very high rating because of the three star skill moves. It makes him a bit too readable, but he is definitely one player. He's definitely a player that if you don't use skill moves, then he is a definitely a player to get. And to say that this card's only going for around 170 to 180k is actually pretty decent. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.